Hello crafters. This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and there is a new release at Spellbinders. This is the December release with Becca Feacon. All these goodies were designed by Becca Feacon and Spellbinders working together to give us some quilty, fun dies, stamps, and a new embossing folder. Love another love embossing folder. Oh yes. Oh yes, the whole thing, it's all good. This is the Home Sweet Quilt Collection by Becca Feakin. Oh, let's just go right into it. Let's look at all the goodies here. Let's get started. As you can see, there are four die sets here. So we have a nice array here. We have square, but within that square, all this goodie that you can play with and get your mind working all kinds of ways because if you look at it different ways we'll look at this one because I did it two different ways this one creates a big beautiful circle does she have to be a circle no she can just be you can do like a half moon circle fan thing because they're fans and look at that curve sentiment so I haven't even used this one to its full capacity yet but I did use enough of it let me tell you mini slimline Kind of like a mini slim line, I should say. A little bit smaller than a mini. Two and a half by five and a half. So it can go into that mini slim line, which would be three inches wide, six inches tall, but you would have a little border around it. Nothing wrong with that, because that's exactly how I used it, and we'll talk about that example. And in this one, you see chevron that you can piece back together, and a beautiful hexagon or honeycomb style love oh let me give you the names see i'm so excited i'm forgetting to give you the names <laughs> let's start again patchwork petals Ooh, this one seven pieces so you do get that outer edge and this outer edge i know sometimes especially new crafters you're looking at this die set going huh this outer edge can be used oh i have some yeah yellow tape but this outer edge can be used by itself so you could just have this as just cutting squares on other projects then this is the drop-in so I used it together that's just my habit too I like to have them both and then I put it together with the yellow tape this is the same thing here you have that outer piece that you can use to keep it solid or this inner piece or the two separate and then layer them up to change the color or to cut it out and get a border play you know anytime you're playing with your dies if you're not sure I always suggest cutting it out with Lower grade cardstock. You just have a standard pack of cardstock that you buy from your local craft store. Don't use your expensive cardstock until you know exactly where your plan is going. That's a little sidebar tip. Don't go in with your best stuff first if you're not sure how this thing is going to work out. Or if you're playing with a die, sometimes we have to play with a die to see, oh, this is this, this is that, that. Yeah, low grade cardstock. And just play, 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 and then piece it together and go, oh, okay, okay, then you go in with the pretty stuff, the expensive stuff. Look at this. This is a nice little strip. You can use it for sentiment, and you do notice on all of them, great stitching detail. Love. So this one, the first one, patchwork petals. Let me give you a measurement on the die. Four and a quarter inch square. So you could do a four and a half inch card. You could do four and a quarter inch card. So if you do a four and a quarter inch card, it'll be just the full um, image. I did like four and a half. So let me show you my first example of playing with it. That's the four and a half. See how I did an extra quarter of an inch all the way around? Mm -hmm. Matting. Matting always gives your eyes like that contrast. Helps to put the card together. Second one, quilted stained glass window. I love that there is this piece with more detail with the stitching and then I love this piece that you can offer less detail I actually use the less detail because I was putting florals in it I just was like I'm looking at this holiday blooms it just came to me and so I went with my inspiration let's do a measurement three by four you use four of this you get one big circle it will be about a six by six card okay six by six inch but do you have to do it that way? No. You could use two, you could use one, you could turn it into an accent. This, I'm not too sure what this is. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it's like a, I know. I'll eventually figure out what that piece is. But in the meantime, I was having fun with it as a circle. On this one now, these two do come in the set. So this is not two separate dies. Love. You have French braid there. Oh, I was calling this chevron. French braid and hexagon panels. So I need to actually switch them with the name. 
four pieces. So you get two outer piece and then these drop-ins, okay? This one I don't think I have taped to. Yeah, I do have, see? I tell you, okay, there, because I used this one. I didn't use this one yet. You can use this by itself for everything. You can always be like, oh, I need something. And then you can pull out these type of dies because it's just by itself a great panel to layer up. And then you can mix and match with other sets that you have. So I like that. Some dies are definitely dedicated. It's only the one way. Spellbinders likes to give you option and play. But do you have to use it that way? No. So hexagon and French braid. My example is French braid. Next one, filigree eight point star. Now this one does look a little bit interesting. This is the one that I did not get a chance to make yet. This one will be coming soon. Right now my mind is trying to wrap around the shape. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm definitely will be looking at Spellbinders and looking at the product cover just to see how to put this one together because I'm seeing this and I'm seeing this and I'm like, huh? But the examples I've seen, this one is great. If you are a quilter or you have a group of friends that are quilters and you're now doing card making, this one is the one that fits that mind of you guys are quilting and they would be tickled pink when you put this one together, for real. Anybody that does sewing and stuff. These are geometric, but this one really has that quilty feel. Love, 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 love. I love all four and they're all four different. That's the beauty of them too. You get a curved label, you get a little angled one here, you get a straight one there. And in this set, you get two dies that go with mini slimline. Come on. First example is the patchwork petals. This was the first card I made out of the whole set was this one. I was just completely enthralled by the square and I do love a good square card. And then I was like, oh, let me play with this one. Knew I wanted it to be purples. So I did a purple um, splash of navy, but it was shades of purple. Do you have to go purple? No, just play with the colors and find where you feel you wanna go with the colorway, but you can go different colors. I've seen some examples where it's pattern paper for these parts. Notice though that uh, do that drop in piece and then just piece in back everything because see that medium purple is that outline and then you piece in back all these pieces that drop out. So when you do cut this die, when you put this on paper and run it, every time I have one, two, three, yeah, three colors here, I had three sets. That's what led to card number two because I had extras. You see how this is light purple? That's the second set with the medium purple. That's the beauty of something like this. You're getting like a three for one, depending on how many colors you use. If you use five colors and you keep running this little die over and over, you're gonna get five different sets. You can make five different style cards. Love, 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 love. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Oh, I'm too excited. <laughs> There is a stamp set for this also. You know what is really sweet about this stamp set, which is called the Quilty Hug Sentiment Stamps? You have stamps now where the sentiment can be on the outside or on the inside of the card. And on the inside, you could put these. You could put it in the center if you want. I did Quilty Hugs here. And this one, I did make a fishtail for easy. You just come up the middle and then do the edges to get it to look like that fishtail. And there is that sending warm hugs of comfort, I believe. No, I didn't do it there. I think I did it here. Yes. Now, most of the time, you guys don't see me have a sentiment on the inside, but hello. I put the sentiment this time though, didn't I? <laughs> I used my Misty to line it up. This is all heat embossed too. So I did sending warm hugs of comfort, and then our friendship is like a patchwork quilt with kindness, gently sewn, each piece is an original with beauty of its own. Isn't that sweet? That is so sweet. So this one is like really ready to go. Sentiment on the inside using this. So I love this stamp set. High quality photopolymer stamps as well. Love, love, love. And this is that new 3D embossing folder in this collection. Let me give you the name. Orange Peel Quilt. 3D embossing folder. This one, oh, super elegant, love. So if you love a uh, elegant embossing folder, you really love everything Becca Feekin does with Spellbinders, this is a definite must add embossing folder for you. If you want to at least have one or two of them, this is one of them, orange peel. And my next favorite, you guys know it. I'm gonna show you the card, but I'll put the name here on the screen because 
this embossing folder. Most of the time it would look this way, but I have it horizontal here. Lens for elegant cards. This one as well. Very elegant cards. Love. So both of those are fabulous. I will link both just in case you're interested. But this embossing folder, we'll see the example and you'll be like, oh, oh yeah. Yes, Suzanne, it really is sweet. It is. So what you don't see here came over to this card. If you're wondering like, what? When I had put the second one together, it's this. You see it? It's a square here. You turn it, cut out these two sides, that long piece, that's there. Yes, I was having fun. I think you guys now know me. If you're watching my videos, you start to be like, oh, she was having fun. Yeah, I was having fun with this one. I was like, wait a second. If I turn it at an angle, what happens? It becomes wide like this. And so I just decided to change the shape, just clip and clip. And look how that is. Talk about a two for one. I mean, completely different looks. This one is more of like that quilt. This one is more like a geometric, still quilty, but more geometric. More like, ooh. You could of course change your colors and turn this into something else, but if you have a recipient or you want to do a group of cards, that can be more all year round. Because depending on what sentiment you put here, this could be anything. Just change your colors. It could be Christmas quilt. It could be you go in the pinks and all of that. You could do it around that Valentine's time. You could do it birthday. Whatever the person's favorite color is, birthday, there you go. That's the beauty of this one. Endless options and opportunities to have fun and play. If it doesn't work out with the color choices, start over again and then go a different way with the color choices. I really like this purple and this kind of a lavender blue. Blue is a contrast for that all that purple, okay? And then what I did here, black background on my other favorite embossing folder. Cannot get enough of tile reflection. This is from last month's new release, Floral Reflections. Look at that in black. Now this is a 3D embossing folder, so you would use a universal plate system for this one, but talk about excitement. Wow, wow. I hope maybe, you know, a few of you, if you didn't have a Spellbinders Platinum 6 or a Spellbinders Platinum Machine, the larger one, I hope you took advantage of the adding on the free universal plate system with the older machine, or maybe you got the new one with the universal plate system already added to it. And I see coming out, there is a new, Glimmer hot foil machine. This is a sidebar. It's now in that silvery platinum colorway to match the new machine. They call it new and improved, but the machine seems to still work the same way, which is fabulous. It's just, if you're buying it new, then yes, you could get, you know, the new and improved platinum machine, whichever size you get, and also the new Glimmer hot foil system. So that's in a different colorway too. Just saying. <laughs> On this one, you see that I have the silver mixed gems loosely spread out because I have the florals going on. I'm going to go between these two, obviously. I know, I'm all over the place today. What you see here, this poinsettia, this Christmas cheer, is from this set. This is the October 2022 Small Die of the Month. L-O-V-E, this small die set. Merry Christmas, warm wishes, hugs enclosed, joyous. You could do joyous Christmas holiday greetings, cheer, and then floral bits. That's the floral bit right there. This one, outlined Christmas sentiments. Love, love. Look at that font. Look how it comes together. This is actually, I know I had said this font reminded me of like Yana's happy birthday. Well, it's also the advent calendar happy birthday. This is from the day four. This is also day six from the advent calendar. You see the font? That's in your advent calendar if you got it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Loving, playing, playing and playing some more. This now is a die set, but this is only available at Spellbinders. I will put a link for it. I believe it is in stock in store. I know last month's own is not there yet because there was one die set that I didn't get from the club and I was like, oh, why didn't I get it? And now I'm looking for it. It's not put in the past club yet but this one i believe is there love it's so good and spellbinders is shipping really fast okay here i put some gems on the outside and then i put some gems from my stash here this is like a different type of silver gem you see it just to accent like 
your eyes going with that shape and the line. I was having fun. That's all. <laughs> For real. Just having a ton of fun playing with this die set. But if you're looking at it going, what? It's just that. Yeah. But look at the difference, right? Love. So that one is Patchwork Petals. Ooh, 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 ooh. With the outline Christmas sentiments. So, 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 so good. Next, here comes the excitement now. This one is that French braid. Only played with this one. If you're like, but Suzanne, you have two cards. Yes, because every time I cut it out, guess what I got? I could actually make three cards with this. Well, maybe four. Four cards with it. I did a cream, brown, green, and red. So I have extras of all these bits too. So I just went from the first card I made was this one. Second card was this one. Just drop them back in. And I changed up my style as you can see. This one I wanted to do different colorways. And so the beige was just the outline. And then in here I did an alternate of dark brown, red, green. These two now are my Christmas cards. What I didn't use in this one is now over here in green and red. So I have a lot of brown left for another card. And then the brown outline is here. I was thinking and had all these bits and I was like, well, if it's a two for one, I might as well make two cards. Again, it's a two for one, I might as well make two cards. <laughs> I was having just a blast with this home sweet quilt. It's a really, really, really fabulous collection. All right, so on card one, we are going to explore my favorite die set, which one of, what am I talking about? My favorite, one of, because I have so many favorites from Spellbinders, please. I just, <laughs> this one is that envelope creator, that mini slim line envelope and nested card creator. Again, another die of the month. This can only be purchased at Spellbinders. This gives you that layered, beautiful card. And this one I used with the largest one. So this card is three and a quarter by six and a quarter and layered up. That's all I did. Cream 110 pound card stock. Did a different shade of kind of a tan here so you can see the cream peeking through. You know, I love that detail. Then here I did a darker brown right there with that pleated scallop look. And then I did the light here. So I wanted this not to match this so I used two shades of brown. I was watching Christmas movies and having fun making this one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was just too good. Too good. Can this go into this envelope if I created an envelope? Oh, you bet. This envelope does have that little bit over eighth of an inch, though. Like, under quarter, somewhere in there, is that height. And it can handle this. I did use it on another card with the envelope, and I was like, oh, it's perfect. This fabulous die set went on sale from 40 to 10. I hope you guys got it. I will link it below if you're like, okay, I now want to get it. Watch to see when it goes on sale because when it does go on that good sale, oh, it's a steal. This is a $40 set. This set, it gives you envelope, gives you layers to play with. Another great standalone die that is making an appearance, the sealed Holly Sprigs. Both of them have the Holly Sprig. Love this standalone die set. This is four and three quarters of an inch tall. I use both in both and just put one on the top, one on the bottom. And I think it worked out kind of cute. I like it like that. So you don't have to have the wax seal kit. I highly recommend the wax seal kit because this thing is just like out the gate winner, beyond fun, beyond just like taking your crafting like, oh, a different kind of way. Yeah, super fun. And this one now with the hot foil plate, but the hot foil plate is acting like the wax seal in terms of being right there. I just cut a few and then right there for the berries, I cut that and then I put some glossy accent. See the glossy accent there, kind of darkening the berries. The berries is the same color as this red. I was having fun, yeah. How many times am I gonna say that until the end of the video? <laughs> Cause I was having so much fun with this set. I don't like crazy complicated dyes that like, it's just too much. But I like dyes that challenge me like these that I'm like, what will I do with it? And then when I cut it and then I have like, I cut one color and I'm like, wait a second, I need another color. I don't need another color. And then I have extras to make. These kind of dyes excite me that way because I can come back to it and then I don't waste all these bits. It's like a, this instance, how many colors you use? I use four colors. This is a four for one die set. This one here, this could be two or three, depending on how many colors you want your hexagon to be. It could also just be two. Or you could do it monochromatic too. 
Nothing wrong with that. Monochromatic is very elegant too. There is two sets here. We have Christmas mailbox greetings. This is from July and it's a hot foil plate with some matte gold hot foil roll on red. This one is from this right here. Yes, here. Christmas mailbox greetings. The all year round is the all occasion. This one does have a Christmas one too. Please deliver to Santa, but this is the one I used. Factory mode. So I had cut this a long time ago and I wanted something here because I had the distance with this die. See the distance that's created once I layered it up? That's what that put on top. Options with this one, options with this love braid here is background here it's also background but it's more forward in this card than than this one i think now let's talk about this embossing folder in a dark forest green hello beautiful where have you been this i believe is the reverse yep this is the back of the embossing folder the deboss side so it would be more forward but because I had this going on, I used the reverse side. And you see how it even emboss with textured cardstock. Are you guys seeing a bunch of cracks? No, there's no cracking. Love, love, love. This is basil cardstock, okay? So you don't see cracking even on textured cardstock. And I do like the embossing with that texture. And I have the texture going here too, if you notice. I did solid and then texture and then I have them going in a certain way. I told you, I was having fun and making some cards and like, oh, I'm giving this to a bunch of people. So, <laughs> so here is seal hottie sprig, but this time I wanted to do something different because every time I use this die, I've been only using it just as a holly with the berries. This time I decided to put some poinsettias. That poinsettia is from Christmas Blooms, right there, the small one. It's in a scrapbook.com storage envelope because I have more than one set of it. I love this die set. This is another one that's not new and goes on sale from time to time. If you get it at a really good deal, get two because you can just, this is like your all year winner too. This with holiday blooms, both of them, holiday winners. Okay. So that's what I used here. And then I did here, gold mixed gems. Love my spellbinders gems, they are fabulous. You get 108, all different sizes. That's what's in the center here. And then I put the small ones in the background there. So how I did this, I wanted textures. You see the panel here? This is a five by seven card. What I think makes this work is that I kept this border, the same border here, the two dark brown, five by seven. And then I brought this small panel in here and let you enjoy the embossing folder. There's nothing wrong. I love enjoying my embossing folder. I love seeing the detail on the embossing folder and then bringing in the fun. But it doesn't look like a mini slimline, does it? It looks more like just a panel with this focal point here with the Merry Christmas in a wax seal. All right, so let's talk about this wax seal here. This is my Merry Christmas wax seal stamp. And this one was one that was sent to me by Spellbinders in their fabulous, fabulous wax seal kit. It sold out a few places, but I believe it's back in stock. So you can definitely get yours in time for Christmas and get to play with it. All right, so I've ordered some other wax seal stamps, okay? <laughs> Outside of what was sent to me, because it's just that good. You notice here too that I've been playing and I got my second spoon just too happy about that one of the new stamps I got actually is joy ooh ooh see joy here with that same wreath design kind of like a yeah like a swag wreath oh she's so pretty haven't used that one yet so the Merry Christmas is here look at that detail too and definitely get one or two of those deco oil based pens okay because they really work so well with the wax seal i don't the colors that you see here that is working with this card if you're loving this colorway see that wax seal that is green wax beads from spellbinders love and antique gold these two were put in my spoon and created this beautiful swirl colorway so if you're loving all of this green traditional christmas that's what created that was the green because it's not a bright green and then the antique gold. It would be a hint brighter if I had used the gold that comes with the kit. It wouldn't be this colorway, but I think this works so well with this. And I had made this way before I did the card, but of course the card was inspired. 
by the wax seal and this. And then I was like, I want to try that embossing folder. And ooh, I was not disappointed. Look how elegant that is. Love this embossing folder. Look at what it does to that card. Now, if this was playing in the background, it could still work. But this is offering something to the card. Like another texture, but not overly too many layers of texture. Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. Sometimes you can have just so much going on that you don't know what you're looking at. But in this instance, I think you guys can see there are different things here, but it just works. I love this card. You could put the poinsettia or take it off. I just wanted to try this with a poinsettia and I think it worked fine. I just put two and then two of those sprigs, those holly sprigs. Love, love, love. So that one is which you probably forgot by now, French braid dye. I will be playing with the hexagon when I do the example for filigree. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a filigree coming. I just have to carve out some time and get my mind wrapped around that one. Because <laughs> so, I'm looking at, I think I'm thinking too much. And I know there's an example, but I like to kind of look at the example and then have an idea and go from there. Here now, this is the quilted stain. So I only use this. I did not use this in my example. Here is my example. I use it as a full circle. Now this is an oversized card. Yes. If you wanted to make an envelope for it, I could use my envelope punch board and still make an envelope for this. I could hand make the envelope and also then put this in a gift bag to mail this. Yes, you're gonna pay extra postage and everything. And I have it popped up. Holiday greetings comes back to that same outline Christmas sentiments here. Holiday greetings. Before you saw Christmas cheer, here you're seeing holiday greetings. The same exact font. Looks completely different though with the colorway change, right? At least to me, it looks different. Love, love this die set. Outline Christmas sentiments. Definitely linking that one for you guys because I think that one is a great one to add to your stash. Great sizing too. Oh yeah, let's talk about that sizing. And I love that it comes with that shadow. Two and a half inch wide by, call it three quarters of an inch tall. Same thing here. Two inches, like one, once you add that length for the Y. But super duper cute. <laughs> what I was doing, because it has the eye attached to it, I put a gem there for the eye. I know. I was just, yeah, I was going there. I was just going all kinds of extra. You just don't know. <laughs> All sorts of extra. It said, features this piece, not the one with the stitch detail. Why? And I'll tell you why. I knew I was going to do different colorways. I did navy blue, gray, this medium blue, cream. Reason I did not use this, because I knew I was going to do a big bouquet of florals and I didn't want it to be so busy. I didn't want the patchwork to have stitch, 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 floral, floral, and then sentiment because I knew I was going to do a burst here. And this is my Holiday Blooms Burst. This is about four of the poinsettia out of Holiday Blooms. Holiday Blooms. And another scrapbook.com storage envelope. Why? Because I have more than one set of it. <laughs> I couldn't help it. This is a every year winner Holiday Blooms. If there's any die sets that you guys want to try from Spellbinders, hands down, I would recommend Holiday Blooms, um, Bee Bowl Blooms, Christmas blooms and Christmas blooms I showed you. The only reason you're not seeing Bebo blooms is because these are Christmas cards. Christmas blooms is right here. You did see Bebo blooms on this example I just showed you with that happy birthday from the advent calendar. These are like your runaway staples to make your cards pop. Okay. And then of course everything else. There's great sentiment dies. Slowly build your stash because it's a stash worth building. I'm telling you spellbinders in... I guess last year going into this year. This year, though, has been like, woo, knock it out in the park winner. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of their die sets from their birthday, their fall die sets. Their I Dance has been fabulous. I Dance is the cute little characters. Their this now with the quilting. Oh, come on. This geometric. Love, 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 love. And these foundations, even though this is not necessarily a foundation in terms of a rectangle or square like their nesting die sets, these are foundation florals. And the foundation florals brings your cards to life. The dark blue, that's there. The poinsettia, these two layered up, played around. And I did a different colorway. Normally, I've been just doing this so much in red that this time I went in this light cream colorway. We'll talk about the gems in a second. And... The leaves here, though, are not these. It's actually from 
Christmas blooms is this set. See how they work together? I wanted to still be able to see here and these are a little bit longer so depends on where you are and how you want it to look. That's what I was tucking in the green, that's the splash. And everything for this card came from this sheet of pattern paper from my stash from my local craft store. Just had that different colorway so I think it works so well with this. And so from here is what you see built in here. Yes. And just layer it up and then put the holiday greetings here in the middle. So you see holiday greetings, but I didn't try to change the color too much because I wanted everything to stay in this blue, green, cream, splash of gray to mute it down colorway on a really big <laughs> card base, 110 pound card base. Card base so big I had to make a little... <laughs> A little flap on the inside because I don't have 12 by 12 110 pound cardstock. Look at Quilted Stain and that's only using this. This is the only die, these two, I used here. I cut it four times and then I do have extras of all these colors. So this is an oversized square card. I made it oversized because I wanted to still enjoy the pattern paper. Yes, matchy matchy, but I love the matchy matchy here. Super duper love. Okay, is that it? I think that's it, crafters. I did want to show you. In my little baggie here, these are the extras. So there can be another card coming. Mm-hmm. With this. You see? That's the blue colorway. Here is that darker blue colorway. So you see how all the bits, and then look at all these bits here. At least have these pieces here ready to go to make two more sets of cards. I can play with it half. I can do a half moon type of thing. You know, that, you could do this. You can nip this little piece off and just have it like that. Why not? Just play, 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 play. And if you're trying to feel out a die, don't use your expensive cardstock yet. Go with your lower end cardstock just to sort of play first and then come up with a game plan and then you go in for serious crafting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still do that from time to time. It's like a, a sample template. Alrighty, crafters, so these are my mates with the home sweet quilt collection. Everything will be linked below. Becca Feacon, you did it again. This is all good and let's not discount. Fabulous orange peel quilt. Maybe that's a style of quilting. I don't quilt, so I don't know, but love. And also this stamp set, wow. If you do any kind of stitching or you want to, you know, quilting and such, this is a great one. And even for your stitching cards, you know, with threads of warmth and happiness, you always have me in stitches. That can work with all of our stitching dies and making cards with stitching detail, which could be cute here too, actually. Maybe I'll do an example like that. Have this in the background and then something stitched on the top, like hi or hello or a name. Hmm, idea. Alrighty, crafters. Like I said, everything will be linked below and definitely check out this new release by Becca Feacon because Becca knocked it out the park and she gave you options, choices, and play. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.